Yeah, let's spin it around. Let's get that uh, debut. Nice gold yeah. stripe. New city version, right? To to assess this the way that it should be assessed. Yeah. With him being able to get the line as frequently as he has the last two games, is there anything that's that's different or changed or more focused there on matchups? I mean, jo Joel. I don't know if people are aware of this. Jo Joel leads the NBA by a lot in post touches. You know, he gets banged around. And so do I with him being on the primitive, you know, floating. And I think that that it is true. How can that not be true? You wished he was inside more. But, you know, we got, what is it, 11 post-up guys or 10? I can't remember. We got a lot of post-up guys and sometimes there's no space. And so trying to work that ecosystem where you take our low post, our best low post player and get him down there, and still like shape the team and form the team and coexist with Ben and all that, it, it's not like a clear formula. You know, we're, we're, we're learning about this. And I think that Joel's mentality um, has always been, you know, to try to go claim that. Sometimes that's connected to how good he feels physically. It's hard going rim to rim. But by and large, I think lately he's been, uh, he's been good, uh, at times great. And, you know, we hope to, to use him in that capacity again tonight against a really good sort of front line that Indiana has. Right on TJ McConnell again. Is he a guy that kind of tied together the locker room a little bit? Initially, that was kind of the reason the Pacers kind of surprised a lot of people in Indiana. That's one of many reasons. And initially, it was mine too. He, he plays with his heart on his sleeve. This city loves him, he's Pittsburgh, he's hard, it's all that. And then you said, well, shit, he's pretty good. You know, he's pretty good A to B, he's got a motor and he's got a tenacity and he can make a pull up shot and he can run a pick and roll and like it got deeper than, oh, he's a tremendous connector in a locker room. Like he could actually play and play well and won us some games and was our starting point guard and played in crunch time and played with Ben Simmons you know, during some of our earlier years in playoff basketball. And so, you know, it was deeper than he's just a tremendous glue guy. He, he actually could play. And I think that we're all gonna see him in the NBA, you know, for many, many, many years. Uh, and, and personally, I, I will look back and uh, be very proud of him for, for his journey. Um, I, I have a fondness for that man because of the history that we all spent here in Philadelphia and, and kind of what we endured together and, and what he persevered to, to find that is now seemingly an NBA career. I mean, the team like Amy, this, this might be simplifying it too much. Like I think they're top five and uh, mid-range efficiency on jump shots. We have a team that does that well, I guess, logically say you want teams taking more mid-range two-point jump shots. Like, how, how do you approach that when they do something that's, that's not traditional well? Uh, well, and you know, you who do we play recently? The Spurs do it. Yeah. And, you know, you got you got DeRozan and, and LaMarcus, and like, they're really good. They're all-stars, and they can make long twos. And so why is that so bad? And, and I think, you know, in general, to, to feel like your whole program is based on that, I get that. Like, you might not be able to find enough points if that's just who you are. But in general, to scoff at, oh, long twos, you know, that's terrible, and just put a blanket of a no-no on that. It is so, like, recklessly naive, and, and to me, delivered by people that don't play the game or coach the game or understand it. Anybody could go look at a stat sheet and think this, it's not true. And so you need to have that feeling as a coach or player, is like, it's just an open look, and that ain't terrible. And, and lots of times you're going to take that in the playoffs. That's part of the holy grail in the playoffs is just get a good shot. Just get a shot. And so that thing that you're talking about, you know, I don't weight it that much. I think if it's just like that's your whole identity and that's all you do. I hear there's a little bit of fear. You can you score enough points. But in general, to put a bullet long twos is really, I don't think, very smart. Given the way the team here, team is built this year, are you prepared to be talking about this until your team is done playing? Say that again? Given the way your team is built this year, are you prepared to be talking about this until the you're long done twos? playing? Just the whole topic? 
of lung twos? Just all of this stuff. The, the you, your post touch give, 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 give me something specific. No, I, I, I was I was trying to make a joke, really, but like these questions are going to keep coming up about long twos, post touches, where where guys yeah. are, where guys are on the court. Yeah. I was I was more just trying to make a joke. But are you prepared to keep answering questions I, I, about this? To me, fair enough. I, I was trying. To, I can be funny too. I, I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate you when you know this. And so this, see, how do I say it back and, and not be funny, but be truthful? It's this is who we are. Right. You know, I got nothing to like shake up, and sure. something else is going to come on. So That's the answer will I mean. be yes. I hear you loudly yeah. now. I, it's a fair. It's a good question. And yes, what what other, what other choice do I have? Right. And so this is this is the deal, and it's on me to 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 help them, to coach them, to help them. And uh, it's uh, I, I think that we're making strides. How can anybody that's followed us? not see what the strides Joel has made passing out of the post. And the spacing that his teammates have done when people are double teaming him. Like really, if we had hockey assists and so on, you, you follow the food chain last mm -hmm. night, it was like the pass, 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 it reminded me of Duncan to Ginobili to pocket a bow and bam. Swing, swing, whack. And, and that happened multiple times in, in, all, in our previous few games. And, and that's generated by Joel's willingness you know, claiming a post, finding space is the holy grail in, in our league. And, and we have a team that, 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 you know, is challenging at times. And so, although that wasn't funny, that was truthful. And, and yes, what other choice do I have? I, I am prepared because I sleep it, I live it, I breathe it. I, I, I feel like the, 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 the holy grail, I think, as I've said, is uh, how does our offense catch our defense? I think we have the second best defensive team in the NBA right now. And I, I like our fight. We get down, we go in droughts, and some of it's, you know, we play, what, nine games together as a starting five, and some of it's, you know, a little clunky at times. And uh, I, I'd rather have that problem than the other one. Do you, no use, do you use the Pacers? And because you know what Nate brings to the table as far as he's defensive.